I am sure that everyone's had scenarios where you've tripped on a wire and your phone came along with it. Or your dog has zoomies and runs through all of your cables, dragging your devices along with them. Well, the folks at Static have a proposed solution to this problem. This is a Static 360. So as someone with multiple devices who just needs to swap out cables all the time, can this be a good solution for my problem? Well, let's find out in this video. Let's start with the unboxing. In this packet, you get a charging cable, a card showing some instructions, and the various charging tips. In this pack, I got USB-C, Lightning, and Micro USB, perfect for my phone, iPad, and wireless earbuds respectively. Usage is super simple. You get different charging tips that you just plug in your devices, you find a power brick, and you're good to go. The cable is well built, and it even has a small light at the end making it easy to find. Bonus feature, I have a metal bed frame, so I just stick it in there. Not sure if that's safe or not though. The head has a swivel, which I guess is where the name 360 comes from. This just means that if the cable gets snagged, it pulls at an angle and it won't pull the device with it. Another benefit of something like this is that you're putting less strain on both your charging port and on the cable itself. I'm sure we've had a lot of cables that have just frayed over time. That's where the swivel will prevent something like this from happening. Now obviously no tech product is perfect and I just wanted to share with you some of my potential cons when using this cable. The first con is its relative charging speed. While I do have a fast charging power brick, this is Qualcomm 3.0 and rated for 18 watts which is above what they recommended on the card, it still doesn't seem to be recognized by my phone as a fast charging cable. This might mean for you that it's relegated as an overnight or standby solution. For very heavy users who charge their phone and require a quick charge in half an hour or so, this might not be the best. It's worth noting that they do have an upgraded pro version of this cable, which claims to have fixed these charging issues, including a 100 watt blitz charge. So it might be worth checking those out as well. Another potential con is that this basically enrolls you into the static ecosystem. And the problem there is that these charging tips are super easy to lose if they're not plugged into your device constantly. So be sure to keep them in a place where they're easy to find again if you do decide to go without them. Also, this just means that all of your other cables are useless if you want to stay in this ecosystem. So at the end of the day, would I actually recommend this? Honestly, it depends on your use cases. If you have kids or very rowdy pets that just keep tripping all over your cables or you just have too many devices and just want to stick to one charging cable, this might be a good solution for you. I find that the actual solution itself is extremely elegant. But if you already have an established ecosystem of chargers around your house, this might be costly to replace them all. Also, if you definitely need ultra fast charging on your devices, then this probably won't fit the bill. You might want to check out their pro variant though if you're still interested in magnetic charging cables, but you do want that fast charging. Now, maybe you don't have messy cables, but you do have a very messy set of keys. Check out this key organizer that I reviewed the KeySmart. See ya, bye.